Hi, my name is Miguel from AvoidErrors.net. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to protect your hard drive using Shadow Defender. Now, pretending that this is your hard drive, your OS is installed on that drive. Now, once you installed Shadow Defender, it'll redirect all information to a different location on the drive, creating a virtual operating system on your hard drive. So you'll be working from here. Now, keep in mind that with time, you're going to be adding music, and pictures. You have to back those up. Regardless if you're using shadow mode or not, you should have a backup of all your information. In case you get infected by a virus, you need to exit shadow mode, removing all that information with a purpose of removing that virus. And obviously you would want to enter shadow mode to protect your hard drive or your information again from any uh, viruses and working from here. Now to download Shadow Defender, the link is in the description box below. I'm going to go ahead and download and install it with you guys. It's a basic installation. Next, 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 finish, reboot. I don't want quick launch icon. Install. Restart. done. Now once you restart, you'll see the uh, Shadow Defender icon on your desktop. Go ahead and run it. This is the trial version. Now here go to mode settings. And you can also exclude files from Shadow Defender. Now go to mode settings and here select your C drive and enter Shadow mode. Remember to have a backup and enter shadow mode on boot. OK. Perfect. You're done. See, you can tell you're working on shadow mode because of this icon on top. Obviously. Now, say you have a virus or something. Let's pretend this is a virus here. You're in shadow mode. All you need to do is run the program. And here select mode setting and exit shadow mode. Very simple. Discard all changes except exclusion list. Now this is in case you place like for example your documents or your pictures to be excluded. Then you select that and then click OK. Exit shadow mode and reboot now. Once you reboot you'll be booting of your original operating system which has no virus or anything that you have added and then again go ahead and run the program and enter shadow mode is that simple thank you for watching this video my name is Miguel if you have any questions feel free to post them in the comment section below thank you